or welcome back to my channel hope you are still enjoying the first video and thank you so much for sharing so much of love to my channel hope we keep on extending it so today my video is all about menstrual hygiene day i had a lot of plan regarding this day and i have participated or rather i have celebrated this day in my locality but we'll talk about it later first i have done some research regarding this topic and i would love to enlighten you all regarding what i have researched and let you people know that why this day is celebrated or how was it initiated so let's get into the video guys at this point of time over 800 million women and girl menstruate each day across the globe and for them for all those individuals who menstruate we do need a hygiene and that hygiene will ensure that they can have a proper healthy life so this year the theme of menstrual hygiene day is it's time for action i know we are suffering suffering from a pandemic and the condition is getting worse each day but still like we need to take some action and the same thing was uh, felt by a german ngo in the year of 2014 so they initiated this day just to raise voice for all those women who menstruate and for their healthy life we even though have so much um you know modernization or whatever even after so much of thing we still suffer from period poverty okay now uh, for a lot of you guys period poverty can be new so i'll just explain what period poverty is period poverty is an inadequate access to menstrual hygiene um menstrual hygienic tools and as well as education guys even though we are menstruating we need to know more about it i mean it is a kind of a body literacy that we are supposed to know we are meant to know it is a kind of a autonomy that we should get and talking about menstrual hygiene it is a priority to get clean water to have a proper toileting facility and to have a proper belief over oneself it it just gives a basic autonomy to oneself so in india guys um in our place women are usually worshiped but since we are staying in a patriarchal society so there are a lot of traditional culture or traditional belief regarding this menstrual hygiene um or rather menstruation i would say a lot of women do not get access to um regular menstrual uh, tools red regular menstrual education as i've already said that we are still suffering from menstrual poverty and that same thing uh, lies with the people of my locality the women of my locality like a lot of underprivileged um, women or girls i would say they are staying in my locality who do not even have access to proper menstrual hygiene or education or tools and um, they use um, weird stuff uh, throughout the menstruation i mean they use rags they use cloths they use cardboards papers which can have a fatal um future and that can lead to a lot of infection to a lot of um, disorders and very bad consequences whatever so i took an initiative this year to educate them and thought of distributing part among them uh, the sanitary napkin among them so i'll show you certain clips uh, that i went there i had a talk with them um even though it's in our local bengali dialect but um i'll definitely show you guys some clips of it and hope i did a little bit of um good job so that uh probably from the next time they would know what to do and uh, i felt really good educating them 
and hope this would help them in a long run. So enjoy. Bye. Specifically, this is the first time we celebrate. Okay, sir. Shabar pad use karata.